Hi class, this is your video feedback for your uh, portfolios this week. And uh, we're just going to jump right in and get started here. Um, I went through some of these projects. Interesting. And I think, uh, the let's start just over at the top here. Uh, this logo right here is really impossible to read. Um, this looks good. The shape is good. The X is good. And I like the colors, but um, we can't really see what you have, you know, here. Um, so that's something you want to think about, whether that's important to you or not. And um, decide how you want to, to do that. Maybe this doesn't have to be here. Or maybe the red wording doesn't have to be there. I like it. Um, just with the X, if it has a purpose or a meaning. Uh, this is nice. The header is nice. You could probably uh, have different icons here that would fit with your aesthetic a little better that still go to these links. Um, and you could probably do a Google search and find some icons that you like. Um, I love the background. It's you know, doesn't really compete too much. Here, if you're working on projects, you always want to include what your role was in that particular project, regardless of what it was. Um, you want to make sure you did that because otherwise people might assume you're the director or the writer. You just never know. So um, it's really important in this context section to include what your role was in that film. Here, I think you can definitely get these titles down smaller and they will still be legible um, and draw a little less attention to themselves. As far as a color, I think I would look at maybe this color or um, maybe, maybe even white. Uh, you have red on the first one, but I think you can do something other than that. I feel like these are starting a little high up. If they could maybe start a little lower, that might be a little more comfortable. I feel one of these is sufficient. It's basically uh, the same project, just re-edited. So I would choose one of these. It's, uh, you have a long version and a short, just choose one. Um, again, bring this text down in size. We want our gutters to be equal. Um, make sure your padding is even between work. Uh, this is perfect for the background that you have. So I would actually bring this up further uh, and this one as well. Those make um, some pretty good pieces up here and then I'll bring that one down below. I realize this way you've got six by having both, but I think you uh, well, you can replace it at some point, one or the other. So I would just have have that um, the five there, I guess. You could put your demo reel at the top of it, I suppose. Um, again, I think this could be a little more subdued down here. Um, probably in white, I think, would be good. All right. Um, I don't mind so much that this is so close, you know, to the banner up here. Uh, I think as long as you're getting everything above the scroll here, that still works. This is a wonderful shot. This is terrific. Um, this is this is a lot for your about section when it's online like this, people. Uh, only skim when they're online. So really, two paragraphs is as much as you uh, can expect people to read. I know there's a lot of important information in here. Um, generally speaking, uh, there is a way to re-edit things down. Um, so that's something you want to think about. Uh, and, okay... Um, think about the color you're using. If 
you want to stick to the blue or not. It's not real easy to read. You could try the shade. I'll make it a little lighter and see about that. Make sure all your headers are the same. So if you've got Dimmer Reel, that would be in the same place as your About. So your About would be over here, probably. Um, you want to bring this down a little bit. And whatever you do with the color, uh, you want to be consistent with it. You know, maybe you do choose this orange. Maybe you choose a, a darker blue, um, or even the lighter blue here. But this one is, there, there's something that isn't uh, blending with your brand here in this photo, all right? And like I said, I think you can start this down a little bit lower. That may mean that you need to start this at the same spot. That's a good uh, rule of thumb so that when people are flipping through, things aren't jumping around, all right? But really good start. Um, and I did watch the trailer. It was very interesting. So I think you're going to have a fun time uh, in the film industry out there. should be a real treat for you. All right, good work. All right, Crystal. This is different from what you had before. Okay, good. That's a good amount here for you. Um, nice. Okay. You have a comma here, but you don't have a comma in other places, so take that one off. Okay. Uh, finish this out. And go ahead and put, if you put the Adobe Creative Suite, then please go ahead and put the program that you're actually working on, all right? Uh, because when they do a search, um, you want it to be able to come up, whether it's Photoshop, Illustrator, things like that, okay? That will really help. All right. This is much cleaner. It feels a little bit like an ADI. I'm not sure if that's what you used, but it's working well for you. All right. This is a nice job, Crystal. And all your links are working. This is nice color. This is working for you. All right. Good job, all right? Very nice. All right. Let's see if we hit shop, if there's a commerce page. Okay, so what we wanna do is disable this. Anything that is not complete, we disable. I know there was a day where things would say under construction, but we, we no longer do that. Uh, so also the book online, that's gonna be disabled. And your blog, we'll need to have, um, okay, so these are yours. All right. You could probably make this just a tad bigger, and let's try not to have one word on a line. Okay, so we want to create a contact page, add a contact page, and okay, this is easy to read. Okay, so your contact page is going to link here. You already have a contact page, but you need to have a link up here to uh, anchor to that. I would separate these um, instead of butting them up together, I would go ahead and and put um, your borders around these, okay? Um, and then keep them aligned and flush everywhere, all right? That's what you want to do there. This image is a little out of focus, so I'm not sure it should be 
uh, the one that you have here. I'm not sure it'd be, it should be so large in scale. Perhaps if it were dropped back in opacity, it wouldn't matter. Um, it wouldn't be as evident, but at this point, it looks like it's been enlarged a little bit and it just doesn't have the quality that I think you really want for film production. All right. But other than that, I think uh, it's laying out well. You've got it to your Facebook and your Instagram and it says your YouTube. So uh, disable the shop and the book online. All right. It's all right just to have a home and a blog. Um, but you'll also have a contact and link it. All right. Good job. All right, Matt, easy to read, nice clean background. Mm -hmm. I think, I think you'll want to simplify this further because really, even without this, you're, you're probably quite fond of it, but even without it, this works very well. That could be your logo. Uh, that's a little fine print there, a little thin, but this looks wonderful. Uh, with this, this could be a great color scheme. Um, and you could change this font to something like this. You know, just MW. That could make a really great logo. The M and the W being upside down like that. Uh, that would be a great thing to play with even more than the film. All right. Good job. You've told us exactly what you do. Okay, good. Um, a little, a little dark here. You might go up just a shade on the gray. It looks good. It really does, but it'll be easier to read if it's a little lighter. I, I'm not going to insist on that because it does look good, but um, you might try it out and see. Um, that's a little hard to read. Uh, these are okay. You might... Uh, I don't have a problem with these, but if you wanted to, you could look at it, uh, you know, creating some of these icons to match your aesthetic here. If we go to your blog. We have to scroll a little bit to get into your content. Um, so here you've got two navigations. So you need to choose which one you want. It's good to be able to get in quicker, like this at least, or like this, to get into your content. And I'm going to um, repeat what I said about the logo. I think that this is going to be a good logo for you. Um, this, this font, this isn't fitting with everything that you have. Um, Okay, so that's one of the things that we get into trouble with when we have a deep header, you guys, or border up here. The banner will eat up a lot of your uh, real estate, and we want to get into the content as soon as we can. I'm having to scroll. Okay, you'll want to fix that. I'm having to scroll to get to where, where I need to be. Okay. And you probably only need to say contact here. I would shorten this invite. Okay. And right, because you've kind of duplicated your thank you. So I would just put one simple uh, thank you there. Okay. 
think you probably meant to say at my, maybe it didn't fit. So yeah, um, it's really looking strong. You've got a few hard decisions to make. Not difficult, but you know, I know it's hard to part with things. Um, but keep in mind, we want to get into the content as early as possible. And you want this to match everything else. And this is very strong. All right, good work. Okay, let's see. Terrific opening looks good. You've got a nice navigation here that doesn't eat up too much uh, room here. It goes to just where you want it. Very clean, modern, international look. I like you have nice padding everywhere. Very nice. Terrific. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. This is a lot of content if you're able to cut it down. Uh, I see it's a timeline of sorts, um, but you might want to cut it down. Um, okay. Very nice. Okay. Okay, a little tight here, right? The padding. So do we have two contact pages here? Uh, think about that. Think about if you need all of that. But it's uh, got a great aesthetic that is um, Maintain throughout. Great photos. Did a terrific job. Not a whole lot of changes. You know, I think that there are any changes you want to make, you know what they are for yourself. Um, I'm going to trust that given where you've gotten this to. Okay. All right. Good job. Okay. One thing I really like about this Colors are interesting. I like that we can see where we're going here. Um, let's see. And we'll see how that works having the navigation down there. This needs to be a little bigger. It's lovely, but it's not legible. And so we have to part with aesthetics sometimes uh, just for the practicality of being able to read something. All right. Just a choice we have to make sometimes. All right, it's very inviting. It's a little hard to read. You might consider a very soft drop shadow that doesn't really show up very much, but helps separate it. Um, it's just a little hard to read. It's possible that that gray may need to be just a little darker, and that might fix your problem there. I think what I would do here is say, contact me, I'll help tell your story, instead of so I can help tell your story. I think I'll help tell your story is um, a little more uh, genuine and natural in, in speech, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's look at your projects here. 
Okay, now well, this is a thing. I've lost my navigation. So that's one thing that will have to be fixed here. All right. Um, when I go to packages, I lose my navigation again. So it's either going to be a hamburger style or something somewhere where I can get back up to the top or to any other page. So that's, uh, you'll either have to have a sticky navigation or the hamburger that rolls with it. This is good. It's just right. Watch your fonts. Make sure you're not using typically more than two fonts throughout your uh, site. Okay. So really, I like the way it's organized. I like how it looks, but we need a navigation that is everywhere, right? And this will need to go to your Facebook and uh, your Vimeo and YouTube. Otherwise, you want to take those things out. And when the day comes, decide whether you want to put your phone number or not. An email list, uh, you might want them to be able to contact you rather than just having that one-way communication. So I think a form would be good for you. All right. All right. Good job, Charles. Amanda, this is an interesting one also. Okay. Wouldn't start with gear. All right. Um, and these are not searchable. So what you want to do is actually spell out Photoshop or those things that you have skills in the creative cloud, spell them out. Uh, and then again, you're going to type this out. These are pictures of words. And so they won't be showing up. All right. Um, and I know this probably took some time to do. So I apologize that that, that isn't the best solution here. Um, but that's, that's something you'll want to do for your skill set is type those words out. Okay, nice shot. Okay. Okay, there's a little bit of space here compared to the space here. And it's okay to have a list of your gear, uh, but it, it needs to just be a simple list format. This is a nice uh, color palette. This blue-green, gray-green with this and the white and the gold, that's a really good aesthetic. And this is a great image also. Really good storytelling there. As is this one for storytelling. This one, it looks fine. Not my favorite for the uh, titling and so forth. But, you know, eventually you'll update it. Okay, I remember some of these. All right, so here is a uh, a rebranding and a a rebuild um, for a site. This is the original site. Um, I'll tell you the things that work really well about this site. Um, the Amazon is small, the ad, and everything is left aligned nicely. There's a uh, consistent space between the paragraphs, the text boxes. Everything is aligned. That's very important. Uh, very legible font, easy to read. Um, things are broken up. And that's nice. Um, there's a lot of air 
between the uh, headings here. So it's easy to, to look at, easy to read. Um, let's see. This is clean. And let's see. It's basically broken down into bite-sized pieces. And that's a good thing. Some of the font looks like maybe it isn't the same size. This is definitely bigger than this. Uh, but the font is easy to read. Uh, the style, that is. Okay. The list of images. Let's see. Okay. This is distorted, as you can see, so that's not a good thing. Uh, these are not laid out very well. They're overlapping in ways where they should just be aligned. Um, so there are some things about this site that could be improved. But the alignment works well, for the most part, and the banner up here works well. The logo works. It's a little small. Um, Okay, and it's a large site that she's been working on. Uh, clearly this needed to have some space, right? Otherwise it's nicely laid out. And the question is that I, the question I have, when we look at these things, let's see. Are our headers the same? When we go to history, we have this nice header, this space. I don't see that header anywhere else. So, yeah. All right, so let's look at the revision for this site. Okay. The logo here works. Uh, this font I'm not in color, I'm less happy about, and the two different blues. So I would choose one, uh, probably a nice navy blue. Um, this doesn't feel like that. This feels a little more vibrant. Okay, this. Um, again, I might like this text if the color uh, is a little more navy, but um, you could also look at other fonts. And again, not my favorite font here. I think a simpler, easier to read font. This is very tight. The lines, uh, the letting, the space between the lines is tight. Um, so a little work there, a little space. This is nice, the blue with the white and this image feels good. This a little tight still, and again, I think a simpler text more like this that uh, feels a little more uh, sans serif than what we have there. Not a fan of ads on uh, your student work. I know you want to give this to a client, but um, it's not when you go to show another client, I think you're going to be better off having those either very small at the bottom, but not taking up so much of your space. Same comment about the text. It's, it's going to be an easy fix there. Um, yeah, I would align, I think, these headers a little equal spacing. Um, yeah, probably left align, and you definitely want to align this with this. Bring that up and make sure that all of the um, videos are aligned and that the space in between is equal. All right. Um, again, here, alignment um, and font style. Uh, you know, bring this line up. Hmm. 
yeah, maybe that comes up here. Um, these should be aligned probably either the bottom or the top, probably the top, and align with this. Uh, you can bring that down a little bit. This is too tight here, right? We need some space. Um, even if they produce this, we would have to add space, you know, uh, add more picture in Photoshop or something um, to make sure there's a little bit of padding around this title. Okay. Yeah, I think... You know, you may feel that it's dull as you're working on it, but I think keeping the blue consistent is going to help you a lot. Um, and I understand why you chose this font. It does feel very much administrative and part of the military. Uh, but for a website, um, a cleaner, simpler, easier to read site. And... Thinking about our vets, that's that's really the direction we need to go in, is thinking of them as the user, more as uh, for their readability and accessibility, um, and less about the aesthetics that would, you know, depict the vet style. Um, that's the choice you want to make. And I'm not going to go through everything. I will say not a fan of drop downs that cover the titles. So, you know, maybe that means you put fewer uh, drop downs in one place, or you combine some things on a page that makes sense. Okay. Okay, there's some nice things uh, going on there. I do like that photo a lot. It's going by a little fast. You want to be consistent. That's hard to read. Okay. Yeah, a little fast. Um, it's a little awkward to have a slider next to a video like this. Not sure how you're going to resolve that. Um, and I'm not sure about that slider. How many images are there? I see. Um, this is the template, I think. All right, okay, so you want to maybe a stationary shot. Um, we do have a lot going on up here. We don't get into our content very quickly. This would be nice if we could get in like this. It'd be nice and clean um, if this was where we landed. Um, that might mean having a menu that is a hamburger over here. Um, it might mean putting a donate button, you know, um, in blue and white here, simple, a white button with a blue outline. Although red is typical, so maybe it is a, a red. Uh, I'm just going to check out one. I know you've done a lot of work populating this site. And I think one of the main things is going to be just bringing some of this up. For example, having this here is taking up a lot of space that you need. Okay, so that may be able to go someplace else, um, as well as having the button here. So really, I think the 
the first order of business is to see how you can clean this up a little bit, um, get into your content as soon as possible. This needs to be aligned, right? This would have to be over here. But you've just done a lot of work and um, definitely kudos there. It's just now a matter of kind of organizing some of it a little bit. But um, you certainly have the the toughest job behind you. Now it's, it's going in. And yes, it'll take some time uh, to make some of the adjustments. But it's a big project. All right. Good job. Okay. A little hard to read. This particular background is never, never easy. Um, you can see that your navigation is lost. So you need to think about that. It works on this, but not on the rest. So I would probably choose a, a standard image there. Okay. Um, just the right amount. I would put a form here instead of a mailing list because you do want people to contact you for work. I would add two more here. Here, one here and here. That looks like it's been elongated a little bit. Okay, this font changes, but it's actually easier to read. So you might want to use that in your other places rather than a white drop down, for example. Um, so, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I would uh, try and find one of your shots, a still image to put behind this particular thing. And that's really going to move you across. But you do have everything... Uh, above the scroll, so good for you. Um, that works. And you do have two contact pages, however. You have this section, and uh, so I would just connect to that instead of this. I would have you link up to the bottom of this page. All right? All right, good job. All right, everybody, thank you for watching. Um, your feedback and I hope that you looked at everyone's because that's really going to help you um, begin to understand what you need to do to yours to really make it better um, and you can always help one another and hold each other accountable and support one another uh, because you know what they're trying to do um, and encourage them to um, get their site in the best possible position before graduation also and you may have suggestions for them so i do hope that you took time to look at your peers work and um, help support and encourage one another all right good job everybody